What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel and welcome to my closet. <laughs> Hey guys, so um, it is like the end of the summer for me. Uh, it's what, the second or third week of July? I don't even know. But it's the end of the summer and I've been feeling a certain kind of way and I can tell when I'm feeling a certain kind of way because my house is a mess. And so when my house gets messy, I start feeling uh, kind of like anxious and I start feeling like I don't have control over anything and I'm also feeling a little anxious because you know it's the start of a new school year in a few weeks and I'm starting well I mean I started a new job back in April but technically September is really like the start for me you know meeting my new students I'm teaching something that's completely new to me I've never been a choir director at a high school before so there's just a lot of things that are going on in my mind that have me feeling a certain kind of way, y'all. But um, you see me, my hair is, you know, being moisturized right now. I got a little bit of a leave-in. And at Coleman, I'm wearing like, just like sweats. I'm wearing home gear. But let me just give you a tour of my closet, guys. So this is actually supposed to be uh, the kid's bedroom, okay? Hence the landlord put the, um, the window guards because this was supposed to be where the kids were gonna sleep. But this apartment is so small that we wanted to take advantage of having space for everything and this is what I mean my husband and I used to pay for a storage facility and that was like about seventy dollars a month so we're like you know we're trying to save money we're trying to pay off bills so we need to cut out some of the expenses so we figured out that in our new apartment instead of having a living room we would just literally take all of the rooms and use them for like legit living spaces because a living room you know yes it's a living room you watch tv in it but you're only in there for like part of the day right so the bedroom that was supposed to be our bedroom became the kids bedroom what was supposed to be the living room became my bedroom okay because it was like the biggest space uh then we have our kitchen and then this room uh, my husband just converted it into a closet and i think my husband did a really great job at you know putting all of this shelving in because it wasn't here before but when things get crazy, y'all, like, things get messy. So let me just give you a quick tour. You know, up here, we just have a lot of, like, stuff. You know, like that white, let me see if I'm pointing correctly, right there. That, like, white cylindrical box, that's like an old hat that nobody wears, but my husband wants to keep it. So I don't touch my husband's stuff. I'll organize it, but I won't, like, declutter and throw it out because, you know, his things mean something to him. All of these bins right here... These are where we keep like our winter clothes. Um, up here, this is uh, Christmas decorations. And I have had the same decorations for six years. And we're not, we're not changing it, y'all, because I'm trying to save money. So I don't buy decorations every year. I use the same things. All the way up there, you see that bag and that stuff? See, my husband went on a, on a business trip and he used our luggage, which is, where is it at? It's right here. So what we do is we only have one luggage. Uh, what we do is that we put all these like bags inside of the luggage and we use the luggage as storage. Since we're not really traveling much, we use the luggage maybe once a year. So the rest of the year it becomes storage and it gets stored all the way up there. And we have a bungee cord to kind of secure it so that it doesn't fall. The kids don't play in this room. This is extremely off limits to them. And they know every time they come in here, they say out, 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 because I always say out, out, out. <laughs> uh, what else? Here, this is where I have uh, my purses. I used to be really, really big on handbags and whatnot. And I have a few designer handbags that I, I haven't really used them because with kids, you're always carrying diapers and milk and snacks. And I don't want to carry stuff in a designer bag and ruin the bag. So they have been sitting here for a few years. I'm, I'm on the fence as to whether I want to keep them or sell them or give them away because I just, I'm not using them, but whatever i can see my betsy that that's the betsy johnson right there uh what else then down here these are just again uh more bins with more storage and let's, let's move this 
uh, my husband has a collection of comic books that I think is pretty cool. So, you know, we, we save those. They're all individually wrapped in plastic and we protect them. And it'll be nice, you know, for my son and my daughter to kind of read through them when they get older. This bag right here, it should be in the luggage all the way on top, but it's not. So we're going to fix that today. Uh, this is, of course, where my husband hangs all of his clothes. Uh, we have a few things that should be inside of this toolbox and they're not. So we're going to fix that today. Uh, on this side, if you look behind me, I keep my, my dog's travel case or bin or cage, whatever you call that. Um, it's hard to see because my light is like, kind of shining, but all the way up top. I don't know if you can see those like white bags up there. There should be a box there to put all those bags in there, but we've used the box for something and now those bags are out and it's just a mess up there. We have these uh, crates <laughs> that it's so funny. It says like if, if caught stealing this case, you'll be prosecuted. <laughs> we didn't steal them. Someone literally was throwing them out. So we just picked them up. So we repurposed them. Uh, and then I've got like, this is like my, my little office. Legit, this is where I keep all my stuff. Isn't that crazy? Um, this is regalia. <laughs> yes, uh, this is from when I graduated from my education specialist degree. I did not do a graduation this year, so I did not have to wear it. I was very excited about that. But next year, I'll probably have to be at the graduation ceremony, so I've got to get these dry cleaned and pressed for next year. Um, this is our our safe, which um, I have to put like my passport and birth certificates. I haven't done that, so that has to be something I got to do. Um, we've got a little filing cabinet over here. This has become like just an area of mess. My instruments, my trumpet is here some tables it's just it's messy uh this right here this is not supposed to be where my husband hangs his things this is where shh, when i wash my clothes in my apartment i'm not supposed to do that uh i hang dry them and i hang dry them here you're like why can't you wash your clothes in your own apartment i don't have a machine so this is where i hang my things here and then you see this mess of toys i just realized a new system for toys my children, um, I think like all children, they kind of take all of their toys, they dump them all on the floor and it becomes a big mess. They get bored. They don't play with the toys correctly. They're not getting like the educational benefits of the toy because every toy has a benefit. And so I learned this from one of my son's teachers and it's that like the puzzles, because like, it has so many pieces, we put it in a baggie and like I'll tell my daughter, what do you want to do? And she chooses. So we only take one toy at a time. It has worked wonders, okay? Because now their toys have become really exciting and really new. The pieces are contained and, um, you know, they're not making a huge mess in their room. But I got a huge mess up here, so I got to fix that. Uh, what else? Let me give you a little bit more of a tour. This is my Juvie stroller. This stroller is absolute life, guys. Oh my God, I love this stroller. Maybe I'll insert a picture of it like when it's fully, fully open. I usually keep it in my car, but my car is being fixed. I have a few dings and I was in a hit and a run and my car got messed up. So they're fixing that. So I don't have my car this week. So the stroller's here. I usually keep this in the, in the trunk. Uh, what else? This is my closet, AKA the kid's closet. So this is my wardrobe. I, I don't have a lot of clothes. I think that maybe you've noticed that on my vlogs is that I tend to wear the same tops all the time, the same outfits, because I just, I don't have a lot of clothes. You know, I don't like the way the clothes fit on my body right now. I'm extremely in between sizes, so I don't want to go shopping. Uh, this is where I keep my jewelry. You see, it's like super empty because I, I don't wear jewelry much anymore. I just, I don't like it. I don't do it. Uh, this is our Christmas tree that we don't really use because the apartment doesn't have space for a six foot Christmas tree, but we have our three foot three foot christmas tree that we put on top of the refrigerator <laughs> for now uh what else i always keep a goodwill bag always always it's always in my closet and i keep that there because like if i'm going through my drawers and i find something that i'm like ah, i don't think i want this i immediately come i put it in the bag and then once the bag is filled then i take it to goodwill uh, i also keep some of my kids clothes in here like you know there are swimming stuff dresses uh snow suits stuff like that uh this is a cooler my boots i only have one pair of boots let me show you this side it's really really tight in here 
I can't wait till we get our our house, a big house with like legit bedrooms and legit closet space. But in the meantime, this is where God has me, and I have to make the best out of it. Uh, okay, so here again, some more of my kids' stuff, but it's it's messy. I gotta fix this. Uh, this is where I keep my shoes. I don't have a lot of shoes. There's a lot of shoes that I just don't wear. Um, for instance, I've worn these maybe like once, but I have them just in case. Uh, I wear, I gotta order these. My black ones broke. That's how much I wear these. I got these from the Wish app. I'm gonna order another black pair, a brown pair. I'm gonna order a few because these are like legit. What else? Um, yeah, shoes, my sewing machine. I don't know if you could see it. Oh, it's in there. And then I've got this little bin um, where I store other things, you know, wires, whatever, more office supplies. So this is the goal, y'all. We're just going to organize this right now because I can't take this mess. Okay, so I don't want to make this vlog too long, but here we go. Time to clean.
I did it guys. It took me about five hours, but I did it. I'm very proud of how everything came out. Everything is where it needs to be. So uh, now to clean the rest of my house. Thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I really want to get to 3000 subs. So can you help me? Share this video with your friends and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye.